Welcome to AEB's WMS Express Solution. From the widgets on the desktop, you can access the put-away job lists where all the outstanding and completed put-away job lists are shown. A put-away job list captures the essential details for the warehouse operation staff to receive and put away the goods into the respective physical warehouse location. The put-away job list can be created at different points of the warehouse process. It is dependent on how you intend to integrate it into your workflow. Some of the possible scenarios are a. Firstly, the put-away job list can be created as a shipping instruction from the customer in WMS Express before the arrival of the physical shipments. The customer may have pre-alerted its warehouse partner at the respective warehouse on the expected goods to be received. B. Secondly, the put-away job list can be created after the physical goods arrived. A put-away job list has four basic areas to update. First, the header information, which includes fields found under the job list and initial stock data. Second, the stocks area, where goods are expected or received into the warehouse. Under the completion area, you can print the necessary documents and trigger the book-in process for the stocks to be added to the warehouse inventory. Lastly, the addresses for consignee suppliers and notify parties can be entered on the details sheet. These entries will appear in documents such as the goods receipt note and the put-away list. The removal job lists function under the inventory management menu is somewhat similar to the put-away job list. It shows all completed and outstanding removal job lists. A removal job list captures the delivery details for the warehouse operation staff to pick from the respective warehouse locations and prepare for dispatch. The moment the delivery information is available, the removal job list should be created in WMS Express before any physical activities start in the warehouse. Once a particular removal job list is created, the picking list document may be printed to assist the warehouse staff. Once the goods are prepared for delivery, the delivery order document can be printed. The creation of a removal job list is similar to the put-away job list. Information to be updated includes header information, stock item details and partner address details. Under the completion section, the documents can be printed and stocks can be booked out. Next, there is a stocks function under the inventory management menu. The stocks function has four important purposes. First, you may search for any stocks inventory levels and related information with reference to their warehouse bin locations. At the stocks listing screen, it is expected that the users either enter some search parameters or just simply hit the search button and the results will be presented in the listing. The results include not only stocks that are already in the inventory, but also stocks that are under the put-away and removal process, which are represented by plus and minus icons. Second, you may book in or book out any selected stocks from WMS Express. A stock's inventory level may be increased or reduced through this way for operational reasons such as cycle count adjustments which do not need to be processed via the put-away job list and the removal job list. Thirdly, you may perform stock transfers in WMS Express through the Update and Split functions. The Update function is used to update details of a selected stock. This includes its bin location, stock type and packaging type. The split function is used for relocating any selected stock in full or partial quantity. Lastly, some basic reports on the stocks are available at the print button on top. The stock warehouse bookings function found in the inventory management menu offers an audit trail for all goods movements in the warehouse. It covers not only basic book-in and book-out movements, but also movements related to cycle counts and job lists. 
Any search results can be exported to a spreadsheet for further analysis or to generate a report. The Inventory Management's Billing Data Pool function provides a snapshot on inventory levels at the respective bin locations in WMS Express. This information is updated once a day at night. Different search parameters can be used. The users may export any filtered results into a CSV file format and analyze the information in a spreadsheet for management or billing purposes. The stocks and cycle count shows, by default, all stocks that are under the cycle count process. To perform a stock cycle count in WMS Express, the targeted storage area or bin locations must be locked from any other activities. This can be done at the master's data bin locations function. All discrepancies can be updated with the stocks and cycle count function. WMS Express is a simple application, but it has rich functionalities in place to help warehouse operators to better manage their operations. The key benefit of a quick solution deployment will help any companies to react quickly to the demanding business world. For more questions or product information, please contact your WMS Express sales representative.